friends we are close to the site here all the clumps were cult uh, cultivated following the advanced sr method here also the plants are in advanced flowering stage and here also we are seeing the very extraordinary result friends i am here going to transplant rice seedlings for making a comparison about the tilla producing capacity of rice firstly according to the traditional method i am transplanting three seedlings in a single clump this is the traditional method and then maintaining the sri method here i am transplanting a single ac here i am transplanting a single plants in a clump and maintaining the advanced sri method here i am transplanting three seedlings maintaining a distance of 7 cm in triangular pattern and i i, I am doing this for comparing the tilla producing capacity of rice i want to see in which method maximum tilla is produced friends here also for the purpose of experiment rice seedlings have been transplanted maintaining the advanced sri method here are eight clumps in which the seedlings are transplanted maintaining triangular pattern and the seedlings are approximately 7 cm apart from each other in each clump conditions of the rice plants after one month of transplantation here it is the rice plants after uh, under conventional method in conventional method where three plants are uh, plants transplanted in one clumps and here it has produced 55 tillers but the most spectacular result has been seen in, in advanced sri method in advanced sri method where in a triangular pattern the three plants were transplanted and here the three uh, here the three plants together in a clump has produced 70 tillers but here in normal sri method the single plant has produced 19 tillers hence we are already seeing the difference and the advantages of advanced sri method in this me in this uh, rice cultivation practice here yeah, advanced sri method is producing more tillers friends friends see the conditions of the plants after one month of transplantation the friends see after 85 days we are seeing that a very extraordinary result has been produced by these plants and we are seeing that this is the clumps under simple sri method and we are seeing that in simple sri method the clumps has produced the plants has produced more than 150 tillers and the tillers are also in flowering stage and see the see the length of the pinnacles the pinnacles are more than 7 inch in in length and we are seeing that almost almost we are seeing that here this clump has produced more than more than 100 pinnacles per hill but more extraordinary result we can see in advanced sri method the middle clump here is produced the plants under advanced sri method and in this method we are seeing that here this plant has produced more than 200 tillers per clump and here the tillers are also in flowering stage and we are seeing more than 150 pinnacles per tiller
more than 150 pinnacles. But in traditional method, we are seeing that the clumps has produced 100 tillers per clump, and uh, the clump has produced 50 pinnacles, more than 50 pinnacles. So here we are seeing that the advanced SRI method in which the seedlings were transplanted, maintaining the triangular method there, the plants has produced very extraordinary result and I think the, the production will, will also be very extraordinary. So plants go to another place where I have also I have also cultivated rice plants in nine clumps following the advanced SRI method. And that is the site. So get close to the site. So friends, we are close to the site. Here all the clumps were cult uh, cultivated following the advanced SRI method. Here also the plants are in advanced flowering stage and here also we are seeing 